hard to do ROV operations in sort of these like shallow regions where the waves do directly cause turbidity. And turbidity could be caused by a biological activity. It could be caused by like big storms overhead. It could also just be caused by like if you're working in an area with very soft sediment, oftentimes those sediments will get kicked up and it becomes really hard to see for the pilots what they're doing. My name's Amy Fung uh, and I'm currently a grad student here at Hui. I'm working on uh, this optioacoustic manipulation system. What I'm trying to do is fuse optical imagery, uh, which works really well for giving them color information with acoustic information, which gives them the visibility that they can't get uh, with the optical cameras when the water looks very cloudy. The specific uh, application that I'm working on right now is uh, unexploded ordnance remediation, which is essentially when there's mines and stuff that have been disposed of and we need to decommission them. These types of things can produce a lot of hazards, especially in shallow environments. And so like on the scientific side, this type of technology should enable us to collect samples more safely and in undersampled areas where we can't really operate and um, with some human input, be able to decommission them without having uh, people like really close to the site.